Welcome and good day to you. It's another edition of the Open Heavens Daily Divisional Review and it's Wednesday, August 31st. And today we're talking about take care of pastors. So, um, shall we pray, sir? Father, we thank you for you being the father of all fathers and you have always been taking care of everyone. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you place open our eyes and give us grace to do the needful. Bless your word in us and make us a profitable servant. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So um uh I'll leave you to take us into it and then we we'll discuss. Alright, that's fine. Um you know what happened this topic, um, take care of pastor. Um I, I must say something before we look at memory verse or the Bible readings. Um every man of God should not be seen as a beggar. Because it's not a function of their age, not a function of their um, of their race, but a function of the one who dwells in them. Mm -hmm. So when we take care of pastor, I believe we are not taking care of them per se, but we are taking care of the God they serve. You know, uh, um, we reference God in them, and mm -hmm. uh, when we take care of them, we are actually taking care of God indirectly. Okay. But when God is to receive of they will not come down and come and receive it. So he uses a medium and that those are the, the men of God. Now, looking at the book of Second Kings chapter 4, verse 8 to 37, which happened to be our Bible reading. Mm -hmm. There's a woman there, a Shunammite woman. She will always uh, see Elisha passing and we always invite this man of God, come and eat, come and die. Let me put, put water for you, do this, do that. You know. She wasn't doing it for the sake of she wanted to receive something from Elisha because at the point she was telling the man of God when he was being asked, I mean, what do you have? Is that she, 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 she was okay, she was fine. fine she right. just wanted to be a blessing and she was doing that. And the time came, he told the husband, Can we just go somewhere for this man of God so that when he's passing, he will just sleep here? And so, by the way, Elisha found his, himself in their house and he created the upper space for him in their house. But someday Elisha was like, what can we do for this woman? She has been a blessing to us, you know. And Gehazi found out that this, man, this woman has no child. Mm -hmm. And Elisha said, by this time next year, something will happen, you will have your own son. You know, the woman might have thought that maybe, okay, maybe the soup must have sweet soup. I saw you were saying that. <laughs> I don't know. But God backs it up because she has sowed a seed into the life of a man of God. Yes. And uh, she got a blessing in return. You know, there are things we can do to provoke a blessing. There are blessings that God bless you is different from God bless you because from the source where they are coming from. Mm. You know what happened? Uh, I think that was uh, Jacob. He wanted to bless Isaac. And he wanted, I mean, that was Isaac rather. He wanted to bless Jacob and Esau. And he now said, give me venison. You know, he can actually do that blessing, but there is something you must do to provoke something. So yes. the venison was brought by, uh, was it called, by Jacob, you know. He stole this soul, but somebody brought it. The far, what I studied there is that whoever brought it is the one that will receive the blessing. Whoever brought it is the one that will receive the blessing. So the memory verse was talking about um, Ezekiel 44 30, Ezekiel 44 30. Say, and the and first of all, the first fruit of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblation shall be the priest. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your door that he may cause the blessing to rest in thy yes. house. I mean, somebody must be a child that that blessing will come. Would come. And that's the man of God. So mm -hmm. I, I think we should not be saying man of God as beggar here. You know, we do something to just provoke blessing from mm -hmm. them. And that's what this place is talking about. Okay, so we should see them as an opportunity to be blessed. Yeah. And to get blessed. So yeah. Daddy, Daddy shared a story here. So when he moved to Lagos from Milan many mm -hmm. years ago, he had um, to do some he left the car works in his house yeah. and then the man came and the man just said, don't worry, don't pay me that, he just mm -hmm. gave me tea fare mm -hmm. and then um, at the end of the day, the man was blessed for it and... Because just God bless you, God, God bless you, you brought what, you know, that was so huge and then that was it, that was the source of the breakthrough. And so, then that also gave some instructions said that don't take the pastor of your local assembly for granted no, because no, 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 no. you see him every week. If he's truly a man of God, a simple word of blessing from him. And change your life. It's, it sounds like an instruction. Yeah. Don't wait for your pastors to tell you what he needs. Find Before something you. you know he will appreciate. Mm -hmm. And when you give it to him, he prays for you. Say big amen because that prayer is backed up by mm -hmm. God. So this is more like an instruction for yeah. our viewers that we yeah. should take care of our pastors. 
I, I, I think there is something I would like to stand here. Okay, sir. Some people can be, I mean, they can take care of other people's pastor, take care of people up there, take care of this, take care of that. But you look down on your local assembly pastor, and they are like, they are just there. They labor over you. So something, a drop of water will make them to like, oh, somebody also, you know, either mm -hmm. water is shall be water. Yeah. So learn to reference God in them. You know, they labor over you day and night. Yes. And one thing is that, as I've said, we should receive them as men of God. God. And we know sometimes, I mean, we, we could recognize them that these ones are laboring day and night. So it won't be bad if we drop something for them. If you look at what is their need, okay, what can we do for them? Even sometimes, I must tell you, uh, uh, we see them that they are blessed and like, uh, what is will I add to this person? Don't worry, it's not about what you are adding, what you, just bless them. Then they will be able to pray for you in return. In short, you have reasons to receive their blessing because you have been a blessing to them. Look at that book of Matthew chapter 10, 40 to 41. Matthew 10, 40 to 41. He that received, he that received, you receive it, me. And he that received me, receive it, him that sent me. So invariably, if we bless a man of God, we are not blessing that man, but we are blessing the God, God of the man that is in yes. their life. So if we receive them as a prophet of God, then also we are going to be blessed as well. So he that received a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive prophet yes, reward. And he that receive a righteous yes, man in the name of a righteous yes, man shall receive, receive a righteous man. And somebody's laboring over you, but you are blessing someone somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That doesn't write enough. So be yes, a blessing yes. to you. I, I think uh, we should just let people out there know that possibly this week you just have to be a blessing to your pastor it's yeah. not about how which thing you want to give to them but okay. the love that is behind it so finally it says look for something that your pastor will appreciate even if it's just a word of encouragement yeah. and give it today father yeah. we thank you for today we thank you for this instruction thank you, we ask for ourselves and our viewers that will be able to live by this in jesus name yeah. and, and be a blessing to our Pastors, in the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. for just in our faith. Amen. Amen.